नजरों के तीर में बसा है प्यार जब भी चला है वो दिल के पार लज्जा से मरे रे जिया I don't wake up feeling like an article. I wake up like this. How would this T-shirt not have walked into my life? But I have um, to say that I sleep in this T-shirt. Hi. Thank you for allowing me into your beautiful home. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you after, after many five years. Can I just say that this has just the tranquil that I imagined <laughs> your home to have? Yeah. Yes. It's yes. Great. It's beautiful. I'm Thank you so much for having seems me. Seems like that with all May this happening. Maybe just acknowledge this amazing T-shirt <laughs> right at the start. <laughs> I love it. I need this. I'm like half ready. This part of me is kind of ready, and this part of me is like rolled out of bed. I love uh -huh. it. I love it. So I have literally come here with my no makeup makeup look that includes no makeup <laughs> because I want to be your guinea pig while Great. you demonstrate your skincare um, for me. While we talk about Taj that okay. releases on Z5 on the third of March. Okay, now we've done our jobs. <laughs> plugs thank done. You, plugs. Thank you for coffee. Cheers. On spill the tea. So, what does um, a day in your life look like when it comes to skincare? You brought your like little pouch, yeah. which I love. This is my shoot pouch. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So you can keep like doing what you do on my face. Um, okay. While we keep I can chatting. put some on mine and yours. Mm -hmm. So, what I begin with is actually various serums. Okay. Uh, so I have vitamin C here. This is my little shoot pouch. And ah. Should I put it for you? Or? Yeah, go for it. I literally came barefaced for you because who wouldn't want to know the secret behind this? As you can see, I'm scrounging for this vitamin C, <laughs> but we'll start with this. Okay, so there's the vitamin C. Always on the neck as well. Yes, and gently all over, not. I didn't want to do that to your face. Then what I do is like, if I'm going about my routine, then. I don't lather on everything like one after the other. Okay. I wait a little so that your skin can like adjust to this morning onslaught of stuff that you're giving it, and then I. So like a few minutes between. Yeah, because then then I'm always like basically what I do is I time my morning because I want to get in that extra sleep <laughs> because Priorities. it's between <laughs> shooting and promotions and 18 million other things. So it's like. If you need like half an hour in the morning to get ready, in that half an hour you have to do the 18 million things and do your skincare, right? So it's like multitasking. So what do you do? So the then? skincare happens in between. Oil pulling also happens, which we can't do just now because we look ridiculous doing it on camera. <laughs> now this is now? hyaluronic acid. Okay, this you can have like generous amounts, amounts of it on your face. It's Delicious. I used it even in the lockdown because I had access to nothing. So I need to leave your house just uh, looking like you. <laughs> Stop your stunning what rubbish. You play Anarkali yeah. in Taj, mm. the epitome of flawless beauty. How much like her are you? Because my hunch somehow tells me that you can be quite a goofball. <laughs> Which no one sees, right? <laughs> it's there, na, somewhere. Uh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Like my team sees it and people who know me really well uh, see it or people I've worked with like multiple times, they see that uh, part. But yeah, otherwise I don't know why the outside world doesn't see it because I I don't hide it. Like I'm like pretty much who I am but maybe people also see you the way they want to. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Could it also a large be part of my uh, a lot of the casting that could be responsible for it because you're this ethereal beauty okay. in... Almost, you know what I mean, right? But, no. <laughs> but, but in a sense, while um, that makes you very, very aspirational, do you worry that it can perhaps make you less relatable to the likes People? of us? Um, it's, it's something I haven't thought about, but something that I'm dealing with as I, you know, live and learn and work. Mm -hmm. um, I guess uh, people have asked me this question enough number of times which does make me think maybe I have no idea it could be that um, 
you know that kind of unreachable ephemeral kind of quality which possibly you know stars had I in a particular era yeah. which today actually we don't have because we are so accessible but for whatever reason if that is being sort of i i wouldn't even say that i am that but if it's being bestowed upon me bestowed <laughs> bestowed upon me then it's something that i possibly need to think about because there are so many uh, there are so many aspects to who i am and my personality and what can be used on camera and maybe at this point a certain aspect has been used but there is as you said the goofball or the fun chill chill side of me too but i think in in the cinema i've done in tamil and telugu mm-hmm. and maybe malayalam that has been used more mm-hmm. you know tell and me a side of you that you think that you'd be really good at and let's manifest like is there an out and out comedy or a badass character what would you manifest see i don't know about badass though uh jubilee i mm-hmm. think was a very different uh very very different kind of character that i did and i really enjoyed doing it but the core of her was something i could relate to as well but there was one part of her especially her public persona which was so alien to me so i really enjoyed doing that in jubilee mm-hmm. but um i think comedy mm-hmm. is something i would really enjoy i did a little bit uh, uh, i mean it it was kind of comical and like totally mm-hmm. mad for brinda master in hey sinamika with dulkar um did you enjoy that oh my god it was so much fun because i wasn't being stopped from doing anything i was behaving like a complete crack all the time and uh, felt at home <laughs> really and that entire line of brinda master knows me really well and so does dulkar and they said don't let this face fool you <laughs> this one's a brat and as it was so much fun doing that you know like just being really silly most yeah. of the time yeah but for the rest of, of the time you seem to be um, captured in this period bubble yeah. this year we are going to see you in three Taj, period bubbles jubilee yeah. and uh, gira mandi yes does like normal day life seem really mundane and passing <laughs> like do you enter a room saying <laughs> anarkali <laughs> the 16th century is a bit much <laughs> uh, the whole uh, i i really do enjoy period you know i have to say and but but i guess because i am a, a current mm-hmm. um i like the i like to live in that sort of romantic poetic kind of dream world at times mm-hmm. but i also love the realness of you know our you know lives and our generation and our way of working like i love i love the accessibility i love that you can goof around on real i am the first person to laugh at myself and i'm the first person to say tell that stupid thing i did the other day tell it tell it so i'm really chill with that but yeah the i guess what was your question yeah so i don't wake up feeling like an arkali i wake up like this maybe not so much like this but almost there can we uh, talk about the hmm. significance of this t-shirt i mean like it's me <laughs> how would this t-shirt not have walked into my life exactly it was right? just did you get it custom made no it was it existed yes. and came and found you yes this is amazing it this was amazing. you've right? talked so much about but i have um, to say that i sleep in this t-shirt but you woke up and yes. showed up for our home literally, shoot literally i walked in yeah i walked in to say hi to you and i said i'm going to go and change but i said and please you, don't change this whole team has made me sit for an interview in my night clothes basically it's why we love you it's why we love you but listen you've talked so much about wanting to be a heroine a mani ratnam heroine yeah. and that's really why you sort of got into found yourself in the movies yeah. as well you've lived that dream yeah what's next on the but there was a is there a new goal post no they 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 were these they, they, it was a triumvirate actually the tridev mm-hmm. it was mani sir sanjay sir and rituparna ghosh so that uh, the 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 third mm-hmm. uh, i am still waiting on that one You're but those are things in this yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what's next i'm sitting with a bunch of oh yeah what's hyaluron- next good hyaluronic acid okay this is because i taught everyone how to say this hyaluronic acid what does it do for you it actually seals in the moisture oh. and don't you feel your skin feeling yeah. like yeah, quite yeah, like yeah. like you feel like doing yeah exactly and it like bounces a little yeah. bit yeah right yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's what it does if you want more you can have more like i literally i have to be stopped from using this oh, because yeah. i'm just like any break i'm like let me put some more 
so like every more, couple of times a day at least yeah i put it whenever i feel like my like i feel parched or my skin feels parched or whatever okay. so i put that then what should i give you should i indulge like you pouch. so okay so usually i also put in like a little niacinamide but today i'm not going to do that because i've already put in your hyaluronic mm -hmm. acid i will give you some moisturizer and then actually my skincare routine is not hectic it's simple but one, one would really imagine to have skin like yours would cost a bomb but i'm being told that you're a complete kitchen baby yeah i'm yeah? a kitchen baby yeah so some oh should i be putting this moisturizer uh, if i'm am i going to make you something now please make me a an aditi rao signature pack then there is your kitchen over here oh lovely okay so multani mitti multani mitti aloe vera honey and this is atta, atta. but i'm not going i'm going to use either the multani mitti or the atta okay now you tell me mm -hmm. uh does your skin feel oily or dry 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 okay fantastic so then i will go with the and do you want your face back to wash off easily <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm going to be sitting on camera for the rest With of this chat. Face pack? See if you can show up in your so your any we're going to clothes. I can totally do this. That we're too. in it together. <laughs> I know, like honestly, if I didn't have to run for another for another this thing of work, I would have also sat at the face pack happily. I roam around with like you know, like if I get a mosquito bite, like I'll put Kailash G1 on my face and roam around. My stylist like, please, can you take that off your face when you go out? I'm like, no, I want to get rid of the mosquito bite. I was bite. just gonna ask you when you play these characters, you're anarchically on the set. What is like? Are you allowed to like pop a zit or like what happens if you wake up okay, with? So Tashu, tashu, Luckily, uh, zits are not uh, in my life. In but life. when they are, they get named because they come, and because they missed me, they stay. So once I had a zit, and we named it Henry because Henry just refused to leave. He was sitting on my face like over here for so long, oh, and everybody was like, "Can we pop it?" And I was like, "Don't touch Henry. <laughs> Henry will leave when he wants to leave." <laughs> so yeah. So menaces are usually named after boys, like Henry. A menace, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so okay, let's do this. So I'm going to give you multani mitti because I'll be kinder to you. Mm -hmm. But because multani mitti is drying, mm -hmm. I'm going to put a lot of stuff to moisturize your skin. And okay? this is stuff you do in yeah, your yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I basically go by the day and what I need and what my skin is feeling like and what weather it is. So there's no one face pack I use. I'll find whatever I have available in the kitchen, and I'll dunk What's it on my face. What's the strangest face. thing you've put on your face? My smoothie. What? Yes. Like while drinking it. Literally while drinking. So no, not while drinking. <laughs> so uh, so I made my uh, smoothie in a Nutribullet, uh -huh. and then I took it out and poured it in a glass. And you know how the like those bits that are left. So I just swiped it out and I just dunked Lather it on my face. face. Yeah. So I opened the door to somebody with a purple face because I'd forgotten I had my smoothie on my face, and they were just like, so "You are quite the goof." <laughs> Cuckoo banana. <laughs> okay, multani mitti. So step aloe. number one. So usually I would use fresh, fresh aloe, aloe, but that's going to be such a mess that okay, gel. Aloe gel is fine. Yeah, little garden space. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's very essential. And also, like, I'll run and use aloe for any kind of wound or you know anything like that because it really works well. I'm sorry, I'm going to make a bit of a mess now. My hands are clean. So because you have oily skin, ah, uh, dry skin, I'm going to put loads of honey. Fun time. Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. Now it's right. nice and pasty. Yeah. Okay. This is good. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's actually feeling pretty good as well. Tell me when I see you like you know dance yeah today on camera you sing a little bit for your movies as well. Yeah. Is that a sort of um validation for the time when the forces that be tried to box you into Uh, pick a lane and stick to that aditi you can't be everything because you kind of um been a bit of everything and looking amazing while doing that is there a sense yep. of um, i think people box you because they feel comfortable boxing you you know it's like somewhere like okay this is this is known and we'll put you in here so we know that i mean it's just the way a lot of people think right it's and I don't enjoy that. I think no artist enjoys that because 
you know to to be and feel artistic and to enjoy it is about being free right and i you know that's the one thing that i really took away from not not took away from but i thought was so important even when i was playing an arkali and i said this to the director ronald mm -hmm. like I, i was like you know uh, for an arkali this dance and all like because we're not actually doing a song but like dance is such an integral dance and music is what actually makes her who she is and you know keeps that hope in her alive Hmm. you know and that and that dream of freedom or that dream of you know what could be she gets it through her dance and music and i feel like that is so important to an should i put this way yeah <gasps> so i'm going to just try to be mindful of your hair so yeah so i feel like it's so important for an artist to be free and be allowed to explore and you know um maybe fall sometimes you know get up run again you know and find your way through this all because you know we're also like somewhere we're also kids learning you know mm -hmm. and and that's so nice and and one of the reasons i mean apart from the fact that it was my little girl dream to work with manisha but one of the reasons i like adore him so much is that so the first time you know i like if i say like i formally started working in like 2010 11 i feel like in 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 2016 when i did cart reveli day it's the first time i felt like oh this is how one should feel you know when one is on a set and one is being directed and like a kid in a playground you fall off a jungle gym and you get put back on the jungle gym and you are told okay you play and i'll be there to catch you but don't be afraid and play and explore and you know find your way around this jungle gym and and we'll all do it together and it's so such a nice you should i put it on your neck i'm feeling the feels yeah you're yeah. fine yeah. shh go the no not at um, all listen you cannot leave out the neck it's so important please note especially thin skin the camera team is having like being. the best shoot ever <laughs> this should be our thumbnail this you no know? <laughs> so should i wish i could also put it FOMO is happening, na? No. Yeah. No, but you, that that spoils you, na? When you get that level of trust uh, from yeah, a director. Yeah, it does. And then I got your co-star Siddharth also say that in this one. Like I was watching this clip where he was demonstrating trust, where he just fell back on you, and by instinct you sort of just uh -huh, thought, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. I, I, yeah, I, I, I remember, yeah, yeah. But, but um, that spoils you. Yeah, you absolutely. Find that? that absolutely spoils you, and then you keep wanting more experiences like that. You know. Uh, I find even Sanjay sir said a lot like that. Like he he's very he really gives you a lot to you know speak and explore. And Vikram sir is also like that. He really gives you so much Now freedom. Now what are you gonna do? It's it's really tough. Good na? Good. Very good. I like it that way. I'd have it no other way. Honestly, and and all these people. also ch really challenge you you know it's not like they're giving you a simple jungle gym mm -hmm. it's a complicated jungle gym it's like quite an obstacle race and you are but you seem to like this i right? love it i Bleed love for it. your art kind of syndrome i love it and i think it's uh, something to do with my childhood <laughs> and leela ka and my my dance teacher leela ka and you know just like doesn't matter if you you have an exam it doesn't matter if you have your period it doesn't matter if you know whatever you you've hurt your your knees hurting you're a dancer and get over Sanjay it so must be like love that love that <laughs> he's actually very kind if you're hurt he's like the most <gasps> she can't get hurt he's very he gets very hassled if his actors like something happens to his actors mm -hmm. listen um i'm trying to i will try to avoid your nose pain so you've got one little patch I don't okay. want his nose pin to get ruined. I'm going to take the liberty of like just this. saying that while I wait, how long does one wait with this on? Uh, I think you uh, like because it's Multani Mitti. You would just wait till you start feeling it stretch. gets stretchy, yeah, and then you should wash it off because you're also talking. So while I I'll wait, I'll keep doing this. I'm going to ask you to sing. Oh my God! Uh, early in the morning. Yeah, it is early in the morning. Hmm. This coffee should have helped. A minute? No, no, no. It's fine. But sing what? You sing. Um, this always, house just lends itself to the music. There's some birds just popping in. Like saw my camera guy try and chase a bird away. <laughs> it's all happening. It's beautiful. We there's water and all kept out for oh. the birds. So we yeah they all come in. Your house Chill really is a reflection of your energy. No, how much of it is you? Like actually, it's 
it's uh, yeah, I I love doing up spaces and so I have done a lot of it. I had some help with obviously the painting and the all. Obviously, I didn't do that. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> I was Don't, totally. You know, I did that in the lockdown. <laughs> what? Yeah. I've forgotten. I'm sitting with no, Mulani with your face. I, I swear, I did it in the lockdown to a point where my brother was like. Get away! Hide the paint brushes because I was sitting and painting furniture and just doing arts and crafts projects every day, and they were all getting really fed up of me back home. They were just like, "This girl can't sit quietly. What's her problem in there? Just chill. sleep. Adu sleep. Adu sleep." <laughs> and my brother sleep would be like, "Sleep. Bad adu. Sit. Stay." <laughs> <laughs> okay, sing. Uh-huh. I haven't forgotten. Damn it. <laughs> what should I say? I'll sing uh, Manisha song. Of okay. So which one should I sing? I'll sing. Okay. Kabhi neem neem, kabhi shahid shahid, kabhi narm narm, kabhi sakt sakt. Mora piya, mora piya, mora piya hai. Nazaron ke tere mein basa hai pyar, jab bhi chala hai wo dil ke paar. लज्जा से मरे रे जिया पिया लज्जा से मरे रे जिया पिया रे लज्जा से मरे रे जिया मॉर्निंग इज टफ फॉर नॉन सिंगर्स बट डोंट लेट एनीवन बॉक्स यू ना लाइक हाउ हार्ड हैव यू बिकॉज़ लाइक व्हाई वुड यू यू कैन डू लिटरली ऑल ऑफ दिस राइट लाइक वाज इट वेरी हार्ड टू रिजिस्ट द the the pressure to be a certain way or just one way i guess it's not personally so i'm i'm not a fighter in that way if you know what i mean like i am you know in my own way but you know to tell people i don't care i'll do what i want i'm not like that i get to it comfortably in my way and then once i get to it i'm just like i will do this and nobody can stop me you know and i will do it the way that i want to do and I will listen to the people who mean something to me, and the others are just noise. But you know, it takes, it takes a little bit of like also knowing who you are and what it is that you really want. Which is why I feel like that whole experience on Carter Valley Day with Mani Manisha really, uh, really sort of made me understand what is what it is that I really want. Why do I love to be on a set? What is my intention? as an actor uh, like why do i like that feeling or like i like to play literally you know and then i'm like who are you to tell me what i can and what i can't do so uh, and but I, I, i also do understand that there is something called casting you know and casting is very important but you but if you want to break that you have to actually work harder because you have to have people be able to see you in that way but like say for example like in the last year or so the number of horror thrillers that have come my way i promise i didn't ask for them i think the universe got confused because i love murder mysteries like knives out or like stuff like i love that like poro uh, i still watch poro the old poro and i really enjoy that and so maybe the universe got confused and a lot of horror thrillers started coming my way and i was just like uh, what am i going to do do a lot of prosthetics and wah at somebody i was like <laughs> <laughs> What's that an emotion that, that you struggle to play on screen? Anger. I was just gonna pick. Like, I really struggle to play it because my anger comes out a particular way. You know, it uh, it, it it's kind of very that like, will come out in very fat tears. But only I know how angry I am. My heart is racing and. I'm literally like shaking inside. You might not see it, and it's coming out in very fat tears. So the person in front of me might be feeling. Oh my God! Let me protect her. Let me hug her. But I'm just like, oh, punch her. <laughs> so, but you can't always show anger like that, right? Sorry, I'm stretching my legs. You can't Feel always. Apna ghar samjhe. So, so what's the th- like? What makes you really angry? I can't imagine you angry. No, my God, I really, I do get angry. <gasps> I don't like inefficiency. Like I feel like you know when people are doing really. like really irritatingly inefficient mm-hmm. things and especially when you when you're in time crunch and it's just like dude you've been given a job, job. 
enjoy it and no job is small or big you know have pride in what you do and do it well mm. and you know we're all a team and we're all so interdependent you yeah. know and i believe that yeah. i don't believe that i'm above anybody like whether it's my team or whether it's my home order so i'm like we have to make this work together and life is life happens together it doesn't happen in solitude so it's like everybody can be all just you know like be together and make this work the other thing that really drives me insane but it doesn't make me angry but it just makes me like why is like people who are like manipulative and you know people who put down other people for to make themselves better i don't like that i think that's a awful quality in people you know you see that a lot in the industry i guess there's something that possibly shields me for it or maybe i'm just delusional <laughs> But I feel well, like you built a haven for yourself. You're very shielded somehow. Once you come here, I feel that's one of my most amazing blessings. Is that I feel like a lot of people who come into my life are very protective of me, um, and uh, I feel like real love around people. And the ones, and I've learned again. This is about growing up as well, because at the beginning it used to really upset me, or you know, I I would be like, how can this person be so nasty or so like. Uh, manipulative. manipulative or not thoughtful or insensitive or whatever but my mom always says that you know if somebody is behaving badly it's they are lacking something and they are unable to cope with something and they just put it on you and why should you be less you know for it or behave like them so you do you you know and you you tr try and remember the good stuff always and and i think that really helps especially in our industry which is I'm not saying it's peopled with uh, scary people, but um, it's just a, a very large variety of people with a lot of different kinds of struggles. So you see sometimes very unsavory things, but I feel it's so important to shield yourself and also keep good people around you, and also to trust. I've not let that trust go, even though it's been. I never let it go because I'm like I don't want to be that person who doesn't trust. It's your problem. You want to behave badly, you behave badly. Yeah. Then what happens to this heart? So earlier, it used to feel very like this, but it's now protected right now by Manjatna yeah. and ARM. So it's in Ram. safe hands. Exactly, <laughs> always protected. I'm telling you, I have these uh, guardian angels all over, and I'm I'm always pretty like, yeah, and honestly, I feel like you know what happens to this heart is a very good question. I. really just choose always to look at the happier side of things because i can spend my day crig crigging cribbing about 5 million things because there are 5 million things that one can crib about including the jcb downstairs but it's not bothering you or me exactly yeah. but the thing is like isn't it nicer to look at the happier stuff though i'm human i do want to say my didi came late today she's so annoying but then 3 seconds later i'll laugh about it and i prefer to do that you know but i need to vent i need to say it <laughs> cuz if i didn't i'd just get be so <laughs> all the time oh. but i'm going to go wash this off yes listen i think you've gotten me a bit addicted to face masks nice you're be... actually glowing i actually like Hana? it yeah. can i listen? give you some cream please i love it yeah, now oh now we have to just quickly put some stuff so that you are Moisturized stuff. This so is now I'm giving a nice element. Oh, yeah, bus. Now stay like this and sunscreen. Sunscreen. The holy. Grail. You want uh, moisturizer? No, I'm good. I'm your guinea pig. You, you oh, decide. Then please use moisturizer. <laughs> it's not coming out of this oil. Oh, it smells divine. Huh? Actually, she's shining. Yay! Who is that? LT said, "No, she's going to come down with hives." LT, thanks. <laughs> no faith. He's just securing so mean, his job. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. Listen, I also wanted to ask Taj. Give you the opportunity to work with Nasiruddin Shah, yeah. Dharmendra. Dharam sir, no. No, no. I only met him at that. But event. I saw you with the yeah, so sweet, giving yeah. him a rose. I, yeah, that was it. Was so surreal. I knew all the mothers and the aunts and uh, grandmothers all be texting me. <gasps> What the hell? 
<laughs> but but what was that like with mm. Nasiruddin Shah? Nasir sir was incredible. Mm. Like before I went on to set, actually you know honestly when I first heard about Taj and when this thing came to me that you know there there these people who are making this story and they want you to play anarkali, I was just like, what's wrong with you? Why would I do that? Am I stupid? <laughs> what do you mean? I think Anarkali would have thanked Madhubala for playing her, you know, literally. And I'm like, why would, why would anybody want to redo that? I mean, why would we want to make that again when it first came to me? And then when the director and all, Ron and all came to meet me, the, uh, Ron, William, Simon, all these people, and they're the creative team that, that made this show, I realized that actually what they're making is very different. It's not a love story. It's mm -hmm. basically a, like a, a family drama. Okay. And obviously the love story is an important part of it because of what happens to Salim, etc. And I felt that Anarkali was actually so human in this. She was just a girl in love. And actually a very fearless girl in love, you know. Uh, because she stands by her love and she's willing to take anything that comes, I mean any punishment. And I thought that was so cool about it because we look at Anarkali as this really vulnerable, tragic heroine, you know. Mm -hmm. And here, she is that of course, but that's her situation. What she is is actually quite, I thought, quite fearless in many ways and very like, very determined, you know, to choose, uh, to choose love over anything, you know. And I walk on to set in the first 10 minutes, I'm tiptoeing around this legendary person. And, is know, he oh intimidating? Because I get the sense sitting so, here. But you know, I always feel this is what we do to legends, you know, we do this to icons is that we put them on a pedestal and we leave them there. Feeling like, hey, isn't anybody going to chill with me? <laughs> Literally. And you know, after a point when I like, in those 10 minutes, the way he was, you know, he was literally like what, what I always call, he was playing. He was saying, now let's do the scene like this, now let's do it like this, now let's do the lines, okay, what should I do? And he's working out his He's stuff. as curious and exactly. a kid. Yeah. And you see that, oh my God, after so many years and so much experience and so much greatness, he, his eyes are also twinkling, looking at the things he has to do. He's enjoying himself. He's also jumping on the jumping. trampoline. <laughs> yeah. But maybe inside, I'm actually jumping on the trampoline. He's just like metaphorically mm -hmm. jumping on the trampoline. And then it, in 10 minutes, I was sitting with him, asking him all kinds of nonsensical questions, which are actually really practical questions that I wanted to, you know, be okay with because I didn't want to like mess up his flow or his scene or whatever so it started like that and then it became like we are working together to make the scene better and it's the, the team way, that you talked about yeah and the way that he included me and made me feel like like it was so collaborative and it was so amazing to work like that with Nazir sir you know and um, yeah. yeah it just feels so amazing and then you also feel like oh my god you know it can always be like this and it's just that your little heart like literally says, wow, to feel like this for so many years must be so amazing. You you talked about uh, choosing love over all else. Are you again like anarchically? Like, are you romantic? Yeah. It's like very the, much the most wonderful so. thing you've done for love. <laughs> you do romantic like big sweeping gestures for love. I, all gestures are for love, including feeding people. And there are different it's kinds very of love, romantic. right? Yeah. And there's all kinds of love. Like there's, like, there's a love I feel for you when I see you at home, even though I don't hang with you. But I'm like, okay, the last time I met you, I had such a nice time. Or, yeah. you know, that I feel for my team or whatever it is. And then, of course, there's the romantic love. And I love big gestures, of course. But it's the little things that make it, you know, fun. And it's always that. It's always that the intention and the thought and that you quite effortlessly think about somebody you know without putting yourself or your uh, dis not discomfort but you don't even think about your mm -hmm. discomfort you know you effortlessly do that and I think I guess that is love and different kinds of love whether it's a parent and a kid or any anything love is that and I, and I genuinely feel that there is nothing in the world that can't be solved with love and all miscommunicate, I mean all issues ar arise because there's so much miscommunication and we don't give that little extra thought to how we can say something to somebody lovingly, you know, so that they hear you rather than reject what you're saying because they feel attacked or sort of. Yeah. 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 So I'm a, like a yeah, believer in love and 
started with Care Bears and Unicorns and now it's like a little more real maybe. <laughs> Not quite, but little bit. <laughs> I also feel like so much of your skin is just a reflection of uh, the, the, the love you carry inside you. True, na? That's why I said I can't imagine you being like really, really angry and you'd have a lot of Henry's then, I think. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I take out my anger, like I say what I want to say. I may, may say it gently, but I say it. Because otherwise I'll get Henry's. <laughs> we don't want no Henry's. We don't want Henry's. No? No, no, no. Listen, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. I came here to like explore your skin regime, but I go with so much more. I'm still patting in my high <laughs> I'm so happy and I'm happy that we did this at home and I'm happy I got to meet you after so long. Thank you for having me really. I had such a wonderful chat. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, I was on Spill the Tea with Sneha. And if you like this video, subscribe to Film Companion.